Wake up! <gasps> hey there, everyone. This is El Cow and uh, playing Outer Wild. And last time, Outer Wild did something that it never did before. It gave me a map <laughs> with metaphorical holes to metaphorically uh, fill up. And last time, like yesterday, on the... Yeah, okay. So there, unfortunately... Unfortunately, I got a bit of an answer there. Um, I got there. I'm missing something. There's a big orange circle. Alright, well, you gave me the info and I can't do anything about it. Fair enough. But anyways, point is, hi, hey, ha, hoo, hi. Hey there, everyone. Scout Cal playing. Yeah, I don't know why. And yesterday, you could see live as soon as I saw the maps and indications to do something on a map my attention just got absolutely hyper focused on that yeah there are things I want to test out on the owl net things that are probably gonna be important none of those matter <laughs> until I find those locations uh, and find what there is to find in said location. Because my plan today was to go to another one of those. And, um... And, you know, and test it out and see if there was anything to find. And if there is something to find. But then, you know, like, I could then just... Look back in the... In the one that I went yesterday. But, alas, my super smart hypercomputer... Uh, with an oh my hard drive... Uh, Answer that for me, just a little bit earlier than I wanted to, but it's okay, it's fine, we're still gonna do that. So, first thing first, is that, is there a movie house on the other side there? Because I can see the stairs, like, have I been there? I kind of forget. Well, it's too far from, um, from uh, the edge, from the beach. I've been here, right? Is, oh, this is the... And it's a it's a boat in there, right? Yeah, this is the other entrance, right? Well, I guess I can take that boat then. Sure. Vroom. Machine sounds. Right, so. On the side of a beach, there's a movie house. And I think it's the first movie house. Next to it, well, like, not too far away from it, there is, like, a gate. Like, a grate? Like, a sewer grate or something? I need to check that out, because it's not something I ever really remember seeing. But I think, like, this is around where the first movie house is. Is that? Is that? Is there a path there? where I am. There is. Huh. Have I ever been there? No, there isn't a path. Ugh. I'm very good at this. It, like, it seriously looks like there's a passageway. That's rocks, though, right? And, like, lighting? Oxygen? Tanks? Are filling my knees? Alright, okay, never mind. What building am I thinking of? There's another boat there if I need it. There's a lot of boats here. Yeah, what is... I don't think I've ever questioned that part. Ah, dang it, I missed. Alright, well... Uh, here's a... Uh, white water zone. Yeah. Not hurt. Ugh. Do I just die? Is that just what's happening? I feel like, I guess I am just dying, wow. I mean, clearly. That was just a demo, right? Yeah, so you got this theater house near, it's very, it's close, it's right out the water. And there's a grate right there. Right on the beach, right on the side of the beach. gonna blow up like last time I landed real bad but like I don't see like anything that says hey blah 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 blow so I don't know oh no it did blow up 
I just wasn't sure, and I didn't want to just stay there. I got science to do, man. Like, was it just that building? Theater house... Next to... Next to the beach. Like, right next to the beach. Could it be you? I never really went here. There's like all these mangrove trees. And there's a gray. Okay, so the pictures were taken a while ago, it looks like. I don't think it was all the, these trees here covering this up. So it looks like when I went exploring, I went like on a bad, a bad path. So once again, kind of what I expected. A big pile of of gas I can use to refill, but a big pile of burnt film. This is where they go to burn their films. There's this machine. Just a big old pile of films. <sighs> And yeah, it's just a bit, so, like, it becomes a question of, is there anything else? Once again, one of these setups. Just a lamp, next to a painting. I heard a broom. I heard a broom. Oh. Is it like an Indiana Jones thing? Um, oh, but there's a hole, so I can escape. <laughs> oh no! This would have been a very good uh, safety procedure if, you know... If uh, there wasn't a massive hole in the wall. Well, there we go! I figured it out! Now I can watch a movie that is forbidden. So, my theory about what's happening with these is so, like, it is my belief that I am following the trail of someone who has been imprisoned inside the, um, the diving bell. Why, I don't know. But considering that, see, like, the movie I saw yesterday of, like, the crew, like, like, getting that diving bell down and then going to uh, burn all the, the film reels makes me wonder if the guy I'm following is, like, the last remaining eye of the universe, like, true believer. And this was, like, this was the revolution. They locked him up in the sarcophagus. And then they burned all his evil propaganda. I mean... It's as believable as anything. I think it seems pretty credible. Uh, without necessarily... And this here, I think the guy might have had just had time to hide some... So look at that! So this is the first seal with a bunch of ghosts! So, this is Alnet. There's a hand, there's one of those bridges. He's holding a device, he's holding like a seal of some kind. He's like, hey, here's this password that I might be interested in. And off he goes with his retinue into the house. So this will tell me explicitly where passwords are. Okay, I, I just, I'm going back because I just want to make sure. So everyone's going inside this house. Oh. <laughs> it's not a real fire. So, you gotta go to that house, and I gotta go into the fire. Note, there's a lot of people there. But, I mean, I think it's good then that I just saw that. Because, yeah, like, had I solved the puzzle of you gotta go there, uh, without having known this, I don't think I would have known what to do. I have a boat, because I think I might need one 
Oh, we're not even close to dam breaking. All right, whatever. I'll just go. Next. Ah, oh, there's a boat right here. Perfect. So next stop, uh, the cove behind downtown. I need to push this first. Uh, okay. So, like, there's a big watery cove there. I think I can see it from here, actually. Do take note that these plants have grown a little bit in the last, you know, 100,000 years, so photographs may not match identically. I was wondering if I could just, like, jump there. Um, okay, so, hidden cove somewhere. Well, I don't know if it's hidden. Inconvenient cove somewhere. And if I can just put you here, I can do like a mighty... Uh, uh, I don't know if I'm at the right place. Oh. That is so cool! <laughs> it's like... There's a huge surge in power, so that's like not a window, it's a screen, it's fake. That is funny. I've been here... post-flood. This all gets flooded. Alright, I think... I didn't review the photograph, unfortunately. But it was like... This kind of goes deep, doesn't it? No, that's just a rock. That's dark. <laughs> it's a deep rock, though. It's somewhere around here. I've been here before, not knowing that there was something I would want to look for. Oh, what's this? Well... Looks like the sunken remains of some kind of house. Alright, my, like, oh, my fuel is getting low. Alright. Alright, you good? You good? You good? I need to, like, get up, but, like, okay, okay. Here we go. Old crusty house where we're burning everything up. We got one of those machines. If you got a fuel tank, I would use it. Thank you. All right, is there gonna be like another setup with, yep. So you take that. Is a magic door gonna fall though? Like that's a thing. <laughs> oh. Okay. If I do that. It doesn't open back up. I'm just stuck here? Oh, but... No, that's not big enough. I think I'm stuck here. Oh no, there's a hole right here. Okay. That's a hole I came from? No, it's not, but it's another hole. Alright, perfect. Perfect! And so, password number one is in the flames. Now we're gonna learn about password number two. Assuming I can get out of here. That should be okay. Oh yeah, no problem. We're not even at flood zone yet. I mean, yesterday, if anything, I found out how to get into, like, the rafters of Canyon City. Even if I... Uh, even if everything's all messed up. Knowledge is good. Knowledge is nice. Knowledge is also useful. Alright, I'm just gonna go and get a lamp. So my running theory now is that this is all set up by said believer of the eye. But then I don't know if that makes sense. Because we got a movie that was of the sarcophagus being lowered. Unless that would have been left there for anyone that might be following the traces of the true follower. 
I don't know if the owls are that kind of people. Well, that just seems kind of weird. Like, I'm... Well, I want to say, like, I'm assuming that they're not going to assume that people are going to find their place. But that's pretty much what the noise alarm are. Like, it's a way to get people out of their owl net without affecting them. I don't know. Let's watch a movie. Secret movie number two. It's a tower in an owl net. We got someone there sitting by the telescope. Yeah, that's right. It's going through some buildings. That's a boat. I don't know what that is. It's a torch of some kind. He's offering... Yeah. Password plaque number two. Boat, boat, boat. Everyone boats. A little demonstration of the hand telegram. And yeah, he goes down that pit where the BMO says. So... Confirming that that's a place of interest. So, but what, so... He's at a weird spot. Okay, okay I'm, I'm, I'm going down. By, by the way, I'm running this backward, right? So he took a boat. He stopped it like midway through. Where he could hand to a place where there's a torch that whooshed away the alarm. Ah. Well, that is some pretty explicit instructions. I just need to find that area. And then I can go inside this mine shaft. And area of interest number two. Well, Area where I should find password number two. Alright, I should have plenty of time now to get to the equivalent area in Ravine Zone. And uh, so yeah, there's going to be a painting of an owl holding a lamp. You, st you steal the lamp and then you get uh, a new film. But then the trick is that a door is going to close behind you. You got to get out. Oh no. Blood. Should I wait for the flood to be done? Or should I try and beat it? I don't know. There's precise boating during the tidal wave. Sounds like a terrible idea. Let's see what happens. Well, that's what happens. I am not dead. <laughs> hey, it's a boat. I could use you. <laughs> okay. That went better than expected. Uh. Alright, so this is gonna be all hecked up. That's fine. I can just go... Well, you can, like, do some platforming here on this fallen building, too. You know, have some fun with it. Look at that. Super easy access. What are thou talking about? I use thou because it sounds more fancy. Alright, so. Puzzle is pretty simple here. Hey, there's an elevator. Oh, I can activate a thing at a distance. That's a pretty safe piece of construction you got there. Wow, look at that, like, chain. Wind's going so fast, it becomes a rectangle. Alright, so we've been here. Uh, uh, here? See, I'm not seeing an escape. Can you escape hole from here? Oh! Okay, I think I know what you're supposed to do here, and that's funny. But, like, I did do that yesterday. But I think I just didn't put it far away enough. Alright, you're like, oh no, gonna get locked in. Yeah, weird. It's like, it's like there's a place here where it explicitly says launch scout. Weird how that goes. Can hear it spin. Oh, but I'm gonna have to control its spinner. 
Ah, I know what to do. I just need to... There we go. It's just, you know... It's just gotta time something with something that has a very bad refresh rate. But it's doable, I just did it. Proof of concept. I'm not sure how I get back to the movie theater. I mean, I don't need to use this movie theater. Oh, I need to fill up my gas before I do this thing. Um. Wait, I cannot. Can I not just escape through here? Yeah, 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 yeah. This will lead directly to a cinema. Yeah, I went here yesterday. I was ready to just do some improbable jumping, just out of sheer. That's how my brain is rigged. It is rigged indeed. Today is the day of Forbidden Cinema. I hope you got your popcorn ready. Can a slideshow be considered cinema? I don't know, like, what you need specifically. Alright, just need to find myself a lamp. It'd be so sad if, like, I just messed up this jump or something. I can climb back, like, it's not a problem, but it would be sad. That's accurate. Hey, all right. Turn off your lights. We're watching seal number three. Password number three. We are in the dark. It's like, hey, hand it over. Yeah, there you go. You got it. I remember this. I've been there, that gazebo. That's the entrance here. Oh, yeah. So these are related to the access ports that are closest to where this is relevant. You just... We got invisible bridges now? That's what we're doing? And then you just made that whole houses appear. Wait, 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 I'm going backward. So you... Okay, wait a second. So you're next to... I'm going backwards here. So you're next to that gazebo that I remember seeing. You go here, there's an invisible bridge. You go here, which lets you blow away the house, but then you're like, no, this is someone else. So you blow away the house, and then the guy with the password, he has a way to go inside an ancient hidden crypt. Oh yeah, and then it comes back. I, I don't know if I've explored that place, but it's the big house. You foosh the big house and something happened. Alright, I got three passwords location for three passcodes that I need to access three torches to remove the three seals that are keeping my man locked in. I was about to say, well... Am I hearing the end? There's a... Um, there's a clickly clack here, right? Yeah. Like, I'm here. Like, I might as well do something. I'm unsure how much time more I have. You know what? Science day. It is time for science. I am going to see if we enter Owlnet. If I die with the object in hand. Because if I die... Like, I'm, I'm happy what I've done today, and I'm super okay with that. If I don't die, and I enter Alnet in a state similar to my mummified circle here, well, important knowledge is gained. I'm sure I'm roasting here. Hot feet! Whoa, looking straight at it! My criticals! So I fall. I'm still holding the thing in my death grip. <gasps> Yo, yo, yo! Okay. See, I think that's how you deal with the alarms. You can't- I can't be woken up if I'm dead! And... No, my tech doesn't care about my body. It cares about my memories, which are still running. Because that's an absolutely insane thing I'm saying. Did it create a bridge here? So, I've been here before. Man, I'm not a fan of the darkness here. Play along. Yep. 
candle. Okay. I don't know what that sound is. It's not the first time I hear that, but I feel like I hear it frequently. So here's a... Ooh, that's the... This is where we can create the bridge to get there in the first place. Where's that gazebo? Now I'm hearing the end song. The tortured scream. Could it be the people brought here by the tower's port who just got doused as the tower fell? that gazebo place I've been to before but I wonder if I have time to go downstairs while twins sing their song can I see that oh fart never mind 